Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and today we're installing some lighting on my layout. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. So to me, one of the keys of having a really good looking layout is definitely lighting. And I've shown you one different way of doing lighting with lights from Ikea for around $50. I'll link that right up here. But today we're doing more of the overhang lighting that you see on a lot of higher end, well done railroads. We're doing my method of doing this on my small railroad. And we're going to be using LED light strips to accomplish this. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I do is mark a two by three every 24 inches and cut the strips out. I use the first cut to make sure that the sections are identical. I then install them on the back side of the layout. I install three in total. I then take a section of lightweight one by two and cut it to the length of the layout on each side. I then take another section of 1x2 and mark it into 20 inch sections. I then cut those sections and attach them to the 80 inch section that goes across the back end of my layout. I put four supports in total on each side and they will serve as the lighting overhang on the layout. I then place the overhang on the supports and screw them in to secure them. I do a similar process on the other side of the layout, but instead I attach it to the first overhang so that it's got a seamless transition with no additional supports to get in the way of any scenery. I also attach a few supports on the side for additional stability. And here is the overhang, ready to be lit. I will be using these rolls of LED light strips, which are great because they have an adhesive backing, and I'll link them in the description below. Now I start in the back corner near my power source. I then roll the LEDs back and forth across the overhang. Once I have rolled the first strip out, I test the lights. I ended up rolling several more strips across the overhang, and here is the final result. Now one thing I did discover is that you do want to power these strips individually rather than putting them in series off of one power source because you're going to dim the lights the more circuits that you connect to each other. Here are some photos of my layout with the newly installed lights. The great thing about using a large amount of LEDs like this is that it gives you a more realistic lighting because it spreads out the light source, which is more lifelike. So that's how I install an overhang with lights on it on my layout. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'd love to know how you light your layout. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this video. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.